All right, we're with Jeff Burr at Days of the Dead. Now, how how was the weekend for you? Oh, it, it, it was a blast. It was an absolute blast. Uh, met a lot of cool people. Saw some saw some amazing tattoos from Leatherface on people's yeah. uh, body. The, the, uh, one guy had a uh, the saw his family saw uh, on his leg from his knee to his uh, ankle. Awesome. What's that like to see some you yeah, know something you helped create yes, and it's, very uh, it's strange, on somebody? Very strange, but but very cool. I mean, it was, it was neat. It was yeah, really cool. Did you sign it? Did you sign his leg? No, no, it's a thing. What are you gonna do? No, but I, I signed something for him, but not. Yeah, uh, higher up than the leg, or was it no? <laughs> no, 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 no. no body part was signed. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, which movie you recognize for the most? Oh, when they're no, coming no, up no, on their well, ass. Especially most. at this event because it's it, yeah. chainsaw specific. Uh, that, that, but but even even at any event, it's Leatherface for sure. Yeah. And and the, the irony of that for me is it's probably the feature film wise the the least amount of time I, I worked on a feature film. Really. Uh, it was like Ju most of July, August, September, October. So four months, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. And uh, and that's the one I'm, uh, that if I'm known for anything, it's probably that movie. Yeah. So. Now, I don't mean this insult or anything like this, but I always thought, not that it shouldn't be an insult, but I always thought that was one of the most underrated of the, the whole franchise. No, I thought, God, that's not an insult at all. It, it's, it definitely, it was... On many levels, it was it was it was uh, not uh, liked when it first came out. So, uh, so I think it's if anything, maybe it's grown a little bit in, in uh, stature or, or you know Vigo and, and, and yeah. you know. Um, so so I, I, it's always good to hear. I mean I mean underrated is better than overrated. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But yeah. doesn't but, necessarily help the career, but but it, it, it's nice to hear. Yeah. Now uh, what else we got? We got Pumpkinhead too. Yes, Pumpkin Two, another another sequel that um, uh, it's a it's a love it or hate it prop it's it's a enjoy it or hate it proposition. Uh, most people that really love the first Pumpkinhead and are huge Stan Winston fans uh, cannot abide by Pumpkinhead Two. So, uh, it, you know, and it was it was a it's much more of an out and out you know man in a suit monster movie. Yeah, um, is that hard to come into a movie that uh, you know a franchise that's already established and? I mean, I mean, it is on some level. Well, here's the thing: the, the movies I did that were sequels, almost to, to every one of them, were very, very uh, much lower budget than the original and, and shorter schedule. So, so you were working at a disadvantage. So, it, on a production value level and a um, you know budgetary level, but. I never really felt pressure. Oh, I've got to maintain the uh, the integrity of you know pump, Puppet Master. Uh, <laughs> right, you know, right. So, so you know, so 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 it's not. It, 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 you have to view the film as its own entity, and and mm. and, and not necessarily think about where it fits in with the uh, with the so-called franchise. It's it's, it's got to work as a movie. Yeah. And that and that's always the constant struggle. It's the producers. If you're a sequel, if you're doing a sequel, usually the producers want a carbon copy of the original because it was successful, and you're trying to do expand it or to to put it push it in different directions, and that's when the uh, the so-called creative differences happen. Yeah. Now, were you at the um, at the event the other night, the uh, the, the dinner? I was. The, the, the thing about that, I was just I was. It just is sad because I, I would love to have been able to talk to a lot of people there, and just the seating was was, was such where you really couldn't, you know, circulate in the room, you yeah. know, because it was like it was such a cramped cramped uh, thing. But but yes, but that was that was a that was an amazing, just you know, a, a pretty funny amazing event. Just that, that all the almost everybody, you know, with yeah. the exception maybe of Toby, uh, was there. You know, mm -hmm. you know, and for a fan, I mean, that'd be something that's probably like, a once in a lifetime yeah, that's, thing. That's that's what I, that's exactly what I was thinking. I go, but when is the next time? This is gonna happen. Yeah, you know, and, and, and never. maybe never. Right. Exactly. No, I'm actually a big fan of the Puppet Master films, up to a certain point. Yeah, but, uh, I, I understand. Yeah. Understand. Yeah. Now, do you have a favorite puppet? Because I have a couple. I do. I, I do indeed. Uh, and the only the only reason I'll tell you why um, it's probably Pinhead. That's and the own. only the only reason is because he, he reminded me so much of uh, an actor I'd worked with, uh, Lawrence Tierney. Okay. He was in Reservoir. He looked exactly like Pinhead. So uh, a little bigger head, but but, yeah. but he just the same <laughs> persona. All oh. I could think about directing Pinhead was what would Larry do. So uh, so yeah. So that 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 would be my. Did favorite. you see the Evil Puppets uh, table over I, here? I, I, I just I just did. I mean I had not seen it, and uh, and, and I pointed it to the uh, totem puppet. I go I started that motherfucker in the business. Uh, but uh, now you won't return the, the my call. 
was, the joke was lost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The joke was lost on the, on the uh, yeah. lady. But I got you. Um, but anyway, yeah, yeah. So they, they're beautifully done. I yeah, mean, beautifully made. The the, the full moon. The, the thing. The full Charlie Band was always as concerned or more concerned with uh, the toys and the merchandising as he was with the movies. Yeah. So, Do you uh, think that was good in a way and maybe bad at some time? I mean, I mean, on a certain level, he was ahead of his time, or or or, or ahead of his time in the sense of doing a low budget, lower budget movies that had merchandising equivalent to Star Wars and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But he's not, he's not the most. Uh, He's a little ADD on the actual uh, making of the movie, so, so yeah. he doesn't really have the uh, the mindset to really to, to really craft a movie or help craft a movie to, to its fullest uh, potential. Yeah. Real quick, uh, the other my favorite puppet is uh, Blade, and he is right there. Yeah, Blade, Blade, and 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 and, uh, and uh, hats off to, uh, to Richard, hat? Richard oh. Lynch. <laughs> Yeah. Um, who passed away recently, and, and kind of the the character of Blade or the puppet of Blade was kind of based on him a little bit, yeah. so they say. And um, so that was sad to lose him because I was a big fan, big fan of his. And yeah, did a few movies with him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, future projects coming up. I hope so. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> are, are you really saying do I have a future? Do I have a, is my future in the industry all? Are you, have you just given up on life? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. No, of course I. As a director, or writer, you're you're always working on stuff, and so I'm writing uh, a comedy right now that. I'd like to do next because I've never done an out and out comedy and, th- and this is something that's been in my head for a long time and then I would love to do another horror movie an independent horror movie and then in between you got to make a living so hopefully sci-fi channel or, or a similar thing will uh, will re- rear its head and I'll do another one of those yeah now uh, when you're at one of these events you see a lot of people uh, that make like really cool costumes and stuff one thing I always think about they should hook up with some of the uh, the directors here or guys who want to make no. movies oh no and they could they could you make, could make a together I know yeah. no here's it, it, it's like walking through that room, I thought, man, I would love to work with him. I'd love to work with him. I'd love to work with him. Dick Miller, oh my God, you know that. that so, so absolutely. Uh, in any of these things, I haven't been to that many conventions, but but the ones I've been to, the you go into the celebrity room and it's like I could cast a movie, you know, mm-hmm. and it'd be damn good. You yeah, because you know, there's just so many underrated guys over there. Yeah, always. Uh, you know, and, and especially in horror, I think that a lot of the actors are, are really underrated. That, that have become specialists like uh, you know like Bill Mosley. I think that guy is a really really in- inventive actor. Yeah. And he doesn't get the the mainstream parts uh, that, mm. that he should, you know. Or and I don't know what the reasoning behind it is, yeah. but um, guys thought, like him, you know, they, they, they're yeah. very underrated guys. And Ken Foray, of course, and the, those, those yeah. Caroline Williams. I think some about Mosley too. Uh, I always thought that really showed showcased his uh, his acting ability. Is when you think of Chop Top, he's like he's like this. You think of like this Weasley guy, and then you think of Otis, and he's, you think of yeah, him as this big, like, powerful, powerful guy. Powerful guy. And it's, exactly, a, and it's yeah, not and like his makeup a, or anything. He's a chameleon. Yeah. De- Definitely, uh, um, uh, he, he, he takes on the physical persona of the character, not not his own, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and and so he really disappears into the characters. Yeah. And I appreciate that in an actor. And and, and Dick Miller, it's just so friggin' cool to see him. Yeah. I've, I've been loved him in in uh, in so many movies throughout the years. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so 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 here's the thing. I mean, most directors. Uh, our fans first, you know, so, mm. so, so especially my generation um, and, and younger. So, uh, so, so, so it's just you become a fan. I mean, you, you're never not a fan, but, but you just, you know, going in a room like that and you see all these people, you know, yeah, it's, it's, you geek out and it's a fan, fan <laughs> yeah, you, know, definitely. you become a fanboy too, you yeah. Know, so. Hat man, that's what yeah, Dick Miller yeah. said every time I walked by. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, that's I, great. Yeah, can I get an interview? He's like, no, but I love you, man, Hat man. So, so I was so, like, oh, that's a pretty good uh, turn. So, what I, I would, another guy I would love to work with, and I haven't even seen the movie, but just his physical persona, uh, that uh, Anthony Harvey. Uh, oh, Lawrence, 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 Harvey. Lawrence Harvey. Just Lawrence Harvey. Lawrence the, the best facial expressions oh, I've my ever seen. God. Uh, it was like you look at like Fellini if he was alive today. You'd be like, look at him and go, he's in my next movie. I must have him. Oh yeah. You know? So so I, I I guess he lives in England, but but uh, mm-hmm. man. I, I and then when you meet a, him and you realize, you know, at first I thought, well, maybe this is somebody that's something wrong with him. But you meet him and he's like this yeah, nice yeah, yeah. guy, and it's like this guy's yeah. a good actor. Yeah, no, no, no. He, I, I, as I say, I haven't seen the movie, but, but it, it just, yeah, just I mean, he carries him the whole movie with no di- with the, no dialogue, just facial just expression. What a face! Is a yeah. great face. If you're on his Facebook, whatever, every picture you see of him, he's got a different face and it's just okay it's like okay. magic yeah no no he's almost like a silent movie actor you yeah know? like just with the, the expressions and uh-huh. so anyway so that's another guy yeah. uh, he's in the old uh, uh brain here now see so we're fans he's, here yeah. too we're getting we're getting excited yeah. just talking about yeah. it <laughs> well i want to thank you for talking to me oh no, no good my times. pleasure my uh, pleasure good times all, all right, right. all right hat man <laughs> <laughs> yeah
<laughs> this guy's always interrupting everything I'm doing. So, okay, I'll, Let's take out that curly mustache. Someone yeah. just come and cut the edges off. I don't know. All right, thanks. I see you.